Yes, good, Teddy. Make them embarrass themselves on stage, except it's not nearly as embarrassing because they're going to be wearing female swimwear. But it's a start. Good job, Teddy. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. <laughs> what is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What, what's with these people? Hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown? You little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! Oh, that's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Risei-chan? Now, Takun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere! So let me get this straight. All of the women, minus Naoto, who's completely innocent in all of this, actually want to do the pageant now. So you made us do this for no real reason. Oh, the punishment will be sweet. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasagami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? For our next contestant, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, J. Hi, I'm J. Sasanaka. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is. Pudding. That liar. It's steak. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi. Hello. My name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> All right, that'll do nice. 
Wisely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes! Hey, shh! Pipe down! I. I'm Naoto Shirogane? It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are stage now let's have our special judge mr. Teddy ask them some questions <clears throat> uh, I am Teddy the honorary judge for this pageant please keep in mind that if you anger me you will be at a disadvantage Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? For Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? Hey, anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. I'm not sure if I should want to kill Teddy or pat him on the back for asking those questions very publicly. But phase one of my brilliant revenge team is coming up in just a moment. You sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Idol has that glow to her that other girls don't have. Really? Huh? <laughs> Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Yeah, she has the right idea. Stand up for principles. Why wasn't I doing that? Oh, that's right. I'm a doormat in this. 
Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. But don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Ah, yes, my brilliant revenge scheme. Whoever you vote for wins. I'm not voting for GA because she was the secondary mastermind to getting us into the cross-dressing pageant. I'm not voting for Yukiko because she probably had a hand in it, and Risei, no. Naoto, however, is like saying, you guys weren't pretty enough to win, even though I didn't show up. So that's like a slap in the face. So that's who I'm voting for. Huh? Is that allowed? Hey, don't ask me. I want to, I want to vote for Kashiwagi. Thanks for waiting, everyone! The results are... Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira! of the girls' hearts! We'd like to present Miss Naoto with her award now, but... It looks like she stepped outside. She won even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto... Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Kajiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Kazuwagi. <laughs> How did my revenge scheme end up targeting two civilians again? You know, at this point, I don't really care. Kazuwagi was the one that came up with the darn. No, I don't know if she came up with the cross-dressing pageant or not. I'm gonna tell myself she did though, for Solus. Ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then, I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah, you have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? huh? What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? 
Now, as much as I would just love to start yelling like a two-year-old, hot springs, hot springs, or rather, a pervert, I think I would rather... Well, she's offering, so why not? Let's go! I want to spend the night! Wee-hee! <laughs> hot springs, you cut of flushed skins! Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Uh, okay. Might as well, then. Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Okay, any of you that's ever watched uh, any kind of romantic comedy, harem anime, or read any manga of that nature, well, you all know what's going to happen in the Hot Springs. So, comedy abound. And you know I'm gonna pick the funny option because I made sure to get my courage up. Oh, we're in different rooms. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're gonna do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. I is it one of those girls and guys together springs? I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Well, why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Jeez, that freaked me out. <laughs> you answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? Hello? Oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, Amagi in. Great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs, and we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? I have no idea if what he's talking is just gibberish or if they actually do that in Japan. I don't really know. None of my sources have ever said anything, but I think you're probably thinking of a bathhouse. Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. You know, bathing with another person is one thing, even if it's a man, but singing? Come on! The elevator's here! Seriously, who who does that? Maybe people in Japan, I don't know. Anyway, all hell's about to break loose. <laughs>